what's uh, coming up here on the show. Coming up here in uh, 15 minutes, um, we are going to be checking in with Stephen Roberts, who is going to bring us the best in the business when it comes to analyzing the two conventions and where do we go from here and his thoughts. He's the best in the business. We'll check in with him in about 15 minutes. And then Larry Stenneback has a whole bunch of technology news that's coming up uh, this hour. All right, so last night at the convention, Republicans with both barrels uh, did not cede the high ground, did not cede patriotism, did not cede the military, did not cede law and order, and certainly did not cede the legacy of Ronald Reagan. Here is Reagan speechwriter Doug Elmitz. I haven't just voted Republican. I worked in President Reagan's White House. I recently led an effort to place a statue of Ronald Reagan in California's capital. I'm here tonight to say I knew Ronald Reagan. I work for Ronald Reagan. Donald Trump, you are no Ronald Reagan. It gets worse. He goes on to say that Donald Trump is just a reality star. Reagan knew that a leader needs diplomacy to steer a safe, prosperous course forward. Trump is a petulant, dangerously unbalanced reality star who will coddle tyrants and alienate allies. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar walked to the stage and said this. Hello, everyone. I'm Michael Jordan, and I'm here with Hillary. I said that because I know that uh, Donald Trump couldn't tell the difference. (laughs) And one more. We've got two clips. Um, The most powerful speech, in my humble opinion, last night was the Muslim American uh, father who spoke about his son, who was born in the United Arab Emirates, who um, died in the line of duty in Iraq. Um... First, let's uh, the one where he claims says that Donald Trump hasn't sacrificed. You have sacrificed nothing, and no one. We cannot solve. We cannot solve our problems by building walls. Then the man pulls out his very own copy of the Constitution. Have you even read the United States Constitution? I will, I will gladly lend you my copy. It's a pretty powerful moment. Now, two nights ago, Michael Bloomberg was there. Can you pull the Michael Bloomberg cuts? We'll get those ready. We're playing this because Donald Trump said something last night. But let's tell you what Michael Bloomberg said, a small in stature, much bigger in wallet when it comes to money to Donald Trump. An independent who endorsed Hillary said this. I'm a New Yorker, and I know a con when I see one. We play that because last night in Davenport, Iowa, Donald Trump responds to the convention. Now, he doesn't call out Michael Bloomberg specifically, but there are many people who think that's who he was mentioning when he said this. I wanted to hit a couple of those speakers so hard, I would have hit them. No, no. I was going to hit them, so I was all set. And then I got a call from a highly respected governor. How's it going, Donald? I said, well, it's going good, but they're really saying bad things about me. I'm going to hit them so hard. I was going to hit one guy in particular, a very little guy. I was going to hit this guy so hard his head would spin. He wouldn't know what the hell happened. And he came out of nowhere. I was going to hit a number of those speakers so hard their heads would spin. They'd never recover And that's what I did with a lot of, that's why I still don't have certain people endorsing me. They still haven't recovered, okay? Donald Trump from Davenport, Iowa last night. And on a sports note, uh, on Fox Sports Midwest, Stephen Piscotty strikes out and the microphone happens to pick up a couple of four-letter words. What is it about this place that makes it special for him? He strikes 
out to Scotty, and that's five strikeouts for Fernandez. We've all been there, Stephen. <laughs> 709 here, Big 550.